this is Puck. Today we're going to talk about a bricked iNew V3 phone. These phones are being sold in China and um, well they're not so bad, they're pretty big but a friend of mine just uh, came to my house and he said well I have a bricked phone uh, it's hanging to the Android screen and I can show it to you if you turn it on turn it on then it will just hang to Android it will never boot up and that is really sad because he said he was just on Facebook he was being busy with chatting and so and then suddenly boom the phone went off rebooted and stayed on this logo so um, I'm gonna show you how to fix it uh, what you should do is remove the battery um, I have some files for you in the description uh, I have a ROM for you that you should download and I also have the flash tool that you will also need to download um, the fix will be done under Windows, so I found no flash tool for Mac or for Linux So I need my Windows machine to do this So we will jump into the computer and see how this must be done In my description you will find three downloads Well, one download with three packages inside The USB drivers The actual ROM And the flash tool Copy them to your desktop and let's go from there. Welcome back. Uh, I just uh, started up my Windows computer and here we have the two folders, the ROM and the SP Flash. We're gonna boot up the SP Flash and see if it boots up. We just booted up uh, the Flash tool, the one you can find in the folders uh, that you just unpacked. The one with the ROM and the one with the flash tool. And this is very annoying. I don't know what this is. My USB stick has an issue. Um, and uh, we're gonna go for scatter loading. We're gonna go for scatter loading. And the scatter file uh, that we need should be in the folder that has the ROM. You see there? Scatter. Android scatter. There it is. You see that? So, what we're now gonna do is we're gonna put in our battery because this phone is bricked eh? this phone does not want to start up anymore it hangs to the screen and we're gonna plug in the usb cable now here comes the tricky part make sure that the battery is removed plug it in and then stick in the usb cable the phone will try to connect and you will hear to doom to doom but make sure that you also hit it download and the phone will stay black in this procedure but on the screen you will see that there is progress you see the yellow line there it's installing all sorts of stuff you see that and um, well when that is kinda done uh, the phone will turn on itself it was in a kind of dead mode so black screen nothing was installed there was no boot ROM the whole thing was formatted you know the whole drive was corrupt so uh, that's what that's what in fact happened and yeah now we are fixing it and soon yeah the phone should boot up also very important is not to forget to install the USB drivers so when the thing is like in a dead mode and you connect it with the USB cable to uh, your computer that your computer says to doom you know even though it's gonna say to doom again you know like it's connected and not connected here you can see everything went right and uh, soon we should see the phone boot up the phone should boot up any second now we're just uh, Look in there, and there you can see the phone booted up. Wow! So, okay, how did I fix it? The phone was completely dead. It was not going on anymore. It wasn't doing anything. First we had the Android error, and then we tried to flash it, and then it died. It didn't show anything. And, uh, yeah. Um, I got the 108... Uh, firmware 
I selected the scatter file, but I think this phone was rooted. That's why uh, it also needed a rooted ROM. You understand? So I don't know what it was, but I'm gonna put this firmware for you guys there on my media fire so you all can go ahead and fix your phone. Um, yeah, this phone was completely dead, had the, uh, yeah, the, 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 the screen of that. It was completely black and uh, it wasn't doing anything anymore. Wow, I fixed it. This is such a cool video. Such a cool video. You see that, peeps? Wowie. Okay, peeps. So, we had this uh, iNew V3 phone. It was hanging to Android. Um, we got the flash tool. We selected format. Something went wrong. The phone died, it went completely black and um, well I went searching for other firmware and I had a higher build of Android as well for this phone, a rooted version. So this is in fact a rooted uh, Android that we just installed and what I in fact did was I removed the cover because every time when I was connecting it to the USB, it was connecting, disconnecting, connecting, disconnecting, connecting, disconnecting. And so what I found out is what you must do is uh, if you have the scatter file selected and you hit download and firmware upgrade, you select firmware upgrade and then download, um, then you will uh, just remove the cable, remove the battery, and then you uh, you put in the battery, okay? The phone will stay black because it's having the black screen of that, and then you plug it in. But because the thing is on download, it's searching, scanning for the phone. And if you're lucky in one of the two USBs, it will catch it. And then it will start installing, installing, and then you won't see anything happening on the phone. As you could see, it stayed black, you know. So, in fact, we went from a soft brick to a hard brick, you know, wasn't giving any screen anymore. And then, you know, we fixed it again with the right firmware and with the right timing of inserting the battery, connecting the cable, having the thing on download, you know, scanning for the phone, waiting for the phone, and then boom, 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 boom. And then we saw a red line, you know, um, saying download completed. And then it started doing all sorts of things. And suddenly after a while, when it said done, you know, this beautiful uh, phone went on again. So my friend, you know, he doesn't have to cry because I just told him that the phone died. <laughs> he was very sad because I told him he could get this one. <laughs> he, would, he could lend my old Samsung. He was very sad. He's not answering me anymore. He's probably... He went... I don't know what he's doing. So, um, yeah, I'll talk to him later. He will read the message and then he will be, like, really happy. So, uh, I'm going to leave it for now, peeps. Uh, I'm happy. To uh, announce that this is how to fix the bricked iNew V3 if it's giving black screen of that or any screen of that. We did it again and uh, thank you for watching. If you think this video was cool, I, I know it was cool. So um, like, subscribe, share. You know, because many people out there having this dead screen, you know, this black screen of that. And I know thanks to this video, they will be able to fix it. Till my next video, have a great weekend.